SPCA says it's rehomed most of the puppies which were seized from two cars in North Dublin last October. The charity believes the animals were being trafficked to the UK and has warned that loopholes in current legislation are undermining its efforts to deter puppy traders. These are the lucky ones. 38 puppies rescued by the DSPCA in North Dublin last October. The charity believes they were about to be trafficked out of the country to be sold in the UK. This Cocker Spaniel was the youngest pup seized and two months on, 13-week-old Riley is fit and healthy and ready to be rehomed. Yeah, he's thriving, he's, uh, he's fine, he took a lot of care, he was in foster care. He would have seen our vets um, at least once a week for the last seven or eight weeks. Um, but as you can hear, he's uh, quite vocal and very, very healthy. He's in great condition. After signing his papers, it's time for Riley to meet his new family. It's just like having another baby, um, but he's gorgeous. And he's a really nice addition to the family. So we, uh, we've been waiting for him for a while to come. So uh, I know we're, it's great to have him. Most of the other puppies rescued with Riley have already been rehomed. Some are still under the care of the DSPCA, like these four-month-old Jack Russells. But thousands of other puppies aren't so fortunate. Dogs seized at Dublin Port just days after these puppies were found had to be returned to their owner. Under current legislation, the DSPCA has limited powers of interception. It can only intervene in cases where animals are being treated cruelly. With hundreds of puppies and dogs in animal shelters around the country, the message from the DSPCA in the run-up to Christmas is adopt a pet, don't buy. Sharon Gaffney, RTE News.